20% job growth, 20% top line growth. That is the Cook Group's expansion plan over the next few years. To learn more about the success of this nearly $2 billion company, Melissa Long traveled to Bloomington, Indiana for an inside look at the world's largest privately held medical manufacturing device center. At the Cook Group's one million square foot complex, there are no closed office doors, no ties, no shareholders to answer to. It's a formula that seems to be paying off. The nearly $2 billion medical device maker has been growing every year since 1963. Kem Hawkins was a local band director when he was recruited for manager training 30 years ago by the company's founder, the late Bill Cook. Now president, Hawkins says Cook has never had a layoff. There's dignity with work. And um, it's always been important for us to make sure that every year we try to expand our number of employees. 10,000 employees make 15,000 products in the U.S., Australia, Denmark, and Ireland. The latest site is in Canton, Illinois, the founder's hometown. Canton's mayor says Cook wanted to help the troubled city. And it was a, a typical Midwestern story where we just basically died for the next 25 years. At Cook's newest facility, 60 people have been hired to make these angiographic catheters. Over the next two to three years, the goal is to fill all this space and hire 300 people to work the line. In addition, the company's real estate division started restoring the city, including the emporium where Cook shopped as a boy. Then in southern Indiana, Cook is behind the $500 million repair of two historic hotels. 1,300 people are now employed at the Midwest's largest resort, French Lick, which includes a golf course and a casino. He looked at his restoration projects as opportunities to invest in communities and provide economic growth to depressed areas. We caught up with the company's chairman, Steve Ferguson, while traveling from a regional airport bearing Cook's name to a manufacturing facility. Ferguson, who wears a Timex, not a Rolex, says the company is extremely cost conscious. Businesses uh, have gotten off track. We reinvest constantly. You know, nobody's taking dividends out or big salaries. You know, our salaries are minuscule compared to the other company. Today, Cook's 49 year old son, Carl, is CEO. Despite its success, Kem Hawkins believes there are no plans to take the company public. We flirted with that back in 2001. And uh, I know when we came out of it, Bill at that point said, you know, I don't want to put myself or the employees through that again. Melissa Long, Bloomberg, Bloomington, Indiana.